Hey, I'm Lyo, and if you've been around the channel before, you may know that I am both a content creator and a parent. These days, it kind of takes a lot to be able to juggle both of those things. Zoom, school, content creation, social media, shooting your content, actually writing things. So I have a few tips and tricks and tools that uh, you might find helpful if you are also in the same, like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now kind of boat. So anything that I use has to have two things, but three things, but two things. Um, one thing that anything has to have is an autosave feature so that if I walk away from something, it when I come back, it will still be there intact in one piece and ready for me to get back working on it. Um, and I actually get a little bit like low key dragged in Discord a lot of the time because I'll just leave a game running forever, basically. And they're like, are, are you really playing Car Mechanic Simulator at four o'clock in the morning? No, I just, I just walked away and my computer's sleeping and it's fine, it's fine. Just mind your own business, it's fine. And then the other thing that it has to have is some kind of cloud save so that um, if I go between different devices, um, I can pick right back up where I left off. If it has both a desktop version and a mobile or app version, that is just ideal. Question of the day. Do you have any indispensable apps or programs or devices that help you navigate this current hellscape we're in while also trying to maintain a career in content creation let me know down in the comments so i have both like software tools and like physical tools that i use um number one on my list is my phone um i would not be able to do just bit anything without my phone and a lot of the apps that are on my phone i can put it in my pocket and carry it with me if I need to go outside and, you know, see a cool leaf that my five-year-old found, or I can also sit there and angrily tweet my while I'm trying to listen in to my daughter's fourth grade uh, math lessons because I don't really remember fourth grade math, so I have to, like, listen. And that makes me really mad. Um, I have a desktop computer, which is where I do a lot. Th this is my computer area. But I have my desktop computer where I have my two monitors, um, and that's where I do most of my content creation. I do just about all of my photo and video editing and capture on my, um, on my desktop computer. It's really beefy and big and burly and raw. Um, and then I have a really, really crummy laptop and it basically only serves as a, like, if I get really, really tired of the thumb typing is not, is, I'm not very fast at that compared to typing. I type at like 120 words per minute. So um, if I get tired of doing that, I have a laptop that I carry around with me as well, but it's crummy and pretty much the only thing I do it with it is use, well, a couple of things we'll talk about a little bit later, but it's, it's really good for um, just like WordPress and word processing, stuff like that. I'm very old school, so I always, I always have a notebook with me. Um, and I also have taken to carrying around pens. This is like hashtag not sponsored, but um, there are these really fun pens that I have a lot of. Um, and I keep them in a, an old bag, an Ipsy bag, because I need to find something to do with them. Um, but they're all different colors and they're super fun. And they're like somewhere between a pen and like a felt tip marker, um, but they erase with heat. I've always found that having like really good, fun, funky pens to just write notes with is really kind of key. Um, and in addition to the like solo, I trade them out all the time. My preference is graph paper, this, but this one is just lines. Um, and I just go through them so quickly that I don't, and I keep a smaller one or post-its by my bedside. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm really old school. They always tell you to do that in writing school and stuff like that. So you just have to have that notepad by your bed. So you, if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can kind of scrawl something on a pad of paper that you won't be able to read in the morning. And if you do, it won't make sense. So, and lastly, I have my planner and this is super vital as like a general overarching thing. I tend to have 
an issue with getting my past self and my future self to get along. I know this this sounds really like woo, but just give me a second, okay. So if my past self just kind of screws around and doesn't really do anything, doesn't clean, doesn't do my work, I don't write stuff down, then my future self is gonna get super stressed and just like, what, ah, I have so much to do. But if my past self is stressed out and doing all the work, then my future self is gonna be even more, is gonna start burning out. So you can't just like constantly work at everything. So my paper planner is central to preventing that whole like parental burnout kind of thing. And let me show you. So this is my planner. And over here I have each of the months and the tab has a full month calendar, but I don't really use it all that often. Um, except to say like it's so-and-so's birthday. So um, they all have identifying information on them. So um, no. So this is today. This one is today. Um, I just crossed off shoot because we're doing it. I have orange is my homeschool uh, to do's for the day. Um, pink is my daughter's stuff right now on this page. It's mostly just her Zoom meetings. Um, green on this side, these green, that's the meal plan that we have for the day. Um, Except for that one. That one's Hearthstone. Um, this uh, teal text is Blizzard Entertainment stuff and uh, Blizzard Watch stuff, um, like the Q. Uh, anything that's this blue color is personal brand stuff. And I have the Pinterest and Twitter here too. I always... There are some chores that I find just kind of fall by the wayside. Um, and one of them is, for me, is laundry. Like, unless I go to a laundromat and I just have to sit there or else people throw my clothes on the floor, laundry is always a struggle. It's not like a struggle, but I always forget. And then my wet laundry is just sitting there overnight and then it's stinky and I have to wash it again and then I forget about it again. So just putting it there and having the little check boxes for wash and dry. I didn't fold it yet, but at least it's dry. Um... That really, really helps. And there are a few other chores that I just kind of forget. And then I just put them in here. This really helps keep me organized um, in the long term, too. Oh, and um, I turned in my ballot today and I got a flu shot. So I gave myself stickers because I am a kindergartner. And stickers work, man. Who doesn't like getting stickers? So now we'll run through some of the like software tools that I use. My main vehicle for cr actually like creating content on the go is G Suite because Docs has that like the second I finish it, it saves it and it goes up to the cloud so that I can like type on my computer and then get on my phone like instantly, which is great. And that's really why I use G Suite. Uh, if you use G Suite and then copy and paste it into something else, a lot of the time it will retain like the background code from Google. So make sure that if you are pasting it into like WordPress or even sometimes I've noticed sometimes that uh, YouTube can look a little weird. It might just be me. I don't know, but I always copy and paste it into a uh, into a program that completely strips it out. It's just a pure processing program like Notepad. Um, and then I copy and paste that again into my word processing spreadsheets. I'm, do I even need to tell you why spreadsheets are important? Come on. I've also noticed that as I've started doing like more video content creation, photos is very good. Taking video on your phone and then moving it to your desktop so you can edit it or taking a nice picture and like editing it in an actual photo editing program instead of Facetune and then you can put it back in photos and then send it back to your phone and then upload that to Instagram. Um, just the whole G Suite is just really, really crucial for me. My central organization, digital organization tool for content creation specifically is Trello. So the main thing that Trello gives you, well, first of all, you can have a, a separate pin, like board of pins or whatever for just about any topic. I actually have a different one for um, like home improvement projects. This is what it kind of looks like for the most part. I have my video ideas and these are just kind of completely unformed. Like I don't, I'm not sure if this is even a good idea. Let me just brainstorm that goes in this column. And then I have the in progress writing and structure stuff. The first thing I do when it lands in this column, this is the video that we're 
working on right now in the ready to film category. <laughs> I usually do keyword research to see if it's even like, is this even really like a viable idea? And the little uh, up arrows are like, these are really good keywords to focus on for your SEO. And this kind of bracketed one, that's like, I feel like that that would be a good thing to target, but it, my various keyword tools tell me it's maybe not. I also have another extra comment for my B-roll just to kind of keep that straight. And then the description, you can use markup to make these little bullets and the bolds and stuff like that. Um, but basically I just kind of make an outline and this is just what I'm going to say, basically. I don't usually script things out unless there's something very specific that I need to make sure that I say perfectly. <laughs> I did a lot of scripting for my DMCA video just because it was like, and what law now? <laughs> like, so now, now that I've spoiled the entire rest of the video, uh, another reason I find it very good for streaming is I have two checklists right here. As I was would start up my stream, I would move them from one side to the other. Oh, did I do that? And then I, it, it's really easy to see what's what. And this is another thing you can do is you can tag different things with different colors. Um, and one of the main reasons I did this was because I could never remember which games I had on the Epic Store or the Twitch launcher because they do a whole lot of games for free and sometimes those games are really choice and really in the sweet spot for viewership. Um, so I added those to my streaming Trello board um, as kind of like a, a plan. and. It also tells me like, which games have I not played? Which games are kind of ongoing? Which games do I want to play a replay again and maybe cover on YouTube later? And that kind of goes back to that whole past me versus future me thing, because this does admittedly take a while to set up, but once you set it up, it makes your life so much easier going forward. Uh, if you have a system in place where you say, ah, today I'm going to do my keyword research, then I know exactly where to put it. I know what I'm looking for. I know, I, I just know what to do. Um, and I know which ideas are going to work for me. And I'm not just kind of wasting my time on an idea that won't work. And Trello also has an app. So, I can do th everything on my phone as well. Uh, I don't, I do not like doing keyword research at all on my phone because I don't have all my other keywordy tools on my phone. We'll do a keyword video later if I want to get around to it. I'll link it. But yeah, um, in that whole like past me, future me thing, Pinterest for me is vital. And this is like on a parent to parent level. Pinterest is so vital for. And I don't use it like a brand is supposed to use Pinterest. I think I have like four followers on Pinterest. Like I'm not asking you to follow me on Pinterest, please. You might, yeah, whatever. The thing I do with Pinterest is every day, and we saw this on my calendar, uh, every day I go through and I take five minutes out of the day. A lot of the times it's in the morning when I, when I have my coffee or whatever and I will just sit and I will look through what the algorithm has sent me that day and I will pin it for later. My pins are mostly concerned with food because meal planning and getting everybody... None of the people in my house like to eat the same things. It's such a pain in the butt. Everybody has to get fed. <laughs> so um, I look through uh, menus. I look through like lunch boxy things because both of my kids are kind of at the age where like getting like a lunchbox is kind of cool, especially because we're in a pandemic and stuff and they can't have that normalcy of like having an actual lunchbox. Having the lunchbox helps that with that. Um, and I also do, because I'm effectively homeschooling my five-year-old, uh, the pre-K that he was in is just kind of, well, you know, whatever. I'm effectively homeschooling him. So I have to kind of come up with like a kind of sort of curriculum for him. Pinterest really incredibly helps with that uh, because they have a lot of homeschool resources that are just kind of linked and because of the visual nature of Pinterest like you just look at it and it's like oh yeah like I can look through and say like oh yeah that that would totally work for because right now we're we're working you saw on the calendar we were working on pumpkins and Halloween this week um so I found like a cute little like oh we can make a pumpkin out of perler beads and that helps with their little motor skills and all that's 
I don't know what the, is that motor skills? That's motor skills. So that really helps future me because then when I sit down to meal plan or when I sit down at the beginning of the week to say like, okay, this is what we're going to do this week. It takes me so much less time. And I know that that's not like a really cool, like sexy, like content creation, we kind of thing. But because I'm saving that time, that's time I get to spend on doing content creation. So anytime that you can like cut that corner and just kind of let somebody else do the work, that's a really good tool. Um, and speaking of letting somebody else do the work, a super vital tool for me um, is it's IF. T T T. And that's the only time I'm going to say that the correct number of T's. I apologize in advance. It stands for if this, then that. And that's what it does. It's almost like a series of bots all contained within this one app, which is also available on desktop as well. So, um, but I, I find it easiest to navigate and just use on my phone. If something happens, Basically, the bots will do that. So if this, then that. Um, and I use it a lot for things like uh, Instagram. If I post a photo to Instagram, there's an IFTTT that says, okay, if you post it with this hashtag, I'll post it to your Twitter. Well, I know that if you're creating a post for Facebook, it's way better to do like, oh, so much... So much text and then like one or two pictures. And if you're doing Instagram, it's better to like, okay, I'm gonna do Instagram and today I'm gonna do a video and then tomorrow I'm gonna do like five pictures and then next week I'm gonna do one picture and it's all gonna be in my aesthetic. And then for Twitter, you wanna attach a GIF and, but something is better than nothing. And uh, done is better than perfect. I'm not really seeking to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just kind of seeking to keep my place until I can keep going forward. But also, IFTT, like, if you download this app, make sure that you look through, like, everything. Because, not, not to sound like an SNL skit or anything, but this app has freaking everything. This place has everything. I saw earlier, I was looking through them, there is a Domino's set of IFTTTs where you can, if it's raining, you, it will automatically order a pizza for you. Like it sends you a text or something before it actually like spends your money and sends somebody to your house. But there's just like, oh, if, if, forecast, if it says that it's raining, we'll send you a pizza. And there's a whole lot of stuff like that too. There's a whole lot of plugins with WordPress if you are a blog content creator. Uh, there's just a mess of them that integrate between YouTube and Facebook and like all the social media sites, right? Um, but it's something that's really, really worth a look if you are a content creator and you're kind of strapped for time and you're just like, I have to post everywhere. What, <laughs> where do I start? I have TTT is where you start. <laughs> and look, I know that it's like, oh, thanks so much for all the new crap I gotta go through now that's really gonna help me with feeling overwhelmed and alone and awful right now in this new world we find ourselves in, like it or not. Um, and I get that. Like, Future Lyo totally gets that. I know, how, like, I know how hard it is, and so I just wanted to let you know a few things that just made things a little bit easier for me. I'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Lyo, and I am... I am... I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> any tool that I use, any piece... What is the matter with me?